Okay, so welcome to top 5 keyboard accessories. Uh, I'm trying something new. I am going to Japan soon in about one or two weeks time from when I'm filming this video. I'm trying to go for a little more of a vlog style of like video. That means I incorporate that vlog style of filming into my videos because I'm going to Japan soon. I want to get back into vlogging because I haven't vlogged in years and vlogging outside is still a scary thing. So. We're gonna practice. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So what is this video actually about? Top 5 keyboard accessories, right? As you all know, I've been doing a series where I show off 5 cool tech every month under $50. And I thought it would be a pretty good idea if I actually shared keyboard accessories or anything somewhat related to custom keyboards and how I would use it and some things that I just find pretty interesting, you know? So this is our first item. This is, I believe, actually for the kitchen where you keep your condiments, but I feel like this is a really good storage option for switches and it looks really cool as well. So I felt like this product was pretty sick. It looks so like minimalist. It looks so like really cool, especially if there were switches inside, which I'm gonna test it out right now. Honestly, I haven't tried it out yet, but I have a pack of 70 switches right here. So we're gonna test how many this container can actually fit. Okay, a little bit disappointing, a little bit, because it can't fit 70 switches, but it fits 65 switches perfectly. So realistically, I mean, it's not too bad. It looks really cool. I really like how it looks. I really, really like how it looks. This takes up very little space because of how tall it is, which I really like. This is really useful. Whenever I need switches, I'll go grab whatever I want. It looks really nice. Open it up and use it. And one of the good things is it actually is airtight, you know. It has the silicone thing so that I guess the switches don't get dusty, especially if you lube them before. I, mean, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, this is item number one, which is a way to store your switches with something that was supposed to be for kitchen condiments. This thing is huge. Okay, so this is our second item. Our second item is actually also another storage unit for keywords. So I'm actually gonna build it. I believe these are all pieces of acrylic. I just have to peel off that sheet and then put it all together and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, first layer is done. Took a while, took a while. I'm really scared I break the acrylic, but you know. Happens, happens. What time is it? So, I have three keyboards. We're gonna put it in. See whether it's worth it or not. It took me about realistically like 20 minutes to set this whole thing up mainly because of peeling the acrylic though so if i'm not wrong the front should be a sliding door because there wasn't any clips on it there we go it should fit and then we can close it god damn and based off the length i'm seeing i believe we can fit a full size or at least an 1800 in here I wouldn't say this is for everyone, you know. Maybe if you have a bunch of keyboards that you just don't really use but you like how they look and you want to keep them in a display case, I feel like this is pretty nice to have. Okay, so for our next keyboard accessory, which I believe is the most functional, most aesthetic, most worth, most accessible as well to the keyboard community as a whole, you know. It is this pegboard right here, okay. So, what is it called? You first start off with pack boards. At the back of this, I have two pack boards, and these pack boards are called Scudis by IKEA. So, what can you do with these pack boards, right? Uh, on these pack boards, I normally hang keyboards and switches. But how do you hang your keyboards? Let me show you. With these pack boards, you basically only need two accessories to decorate the whole board. So, you first start off with hooks, and these hooks are what you use for your keyboard. You put two of these hooks and you can hang your keyboard onto the pegboard. And something I gotta say about these pegboards and hooks, most of the keyboards that I have on my board right now is pretty hefty. It's 
probably about one and a half kilos and being able to hold like six of these keyboards at one and a half kilos it's pretty strong all right the hooks are pretty strong my wall is pretty strong and the pegboard is also pretty strong. The next important accessory you should get is the SCADIS container, all right? So this is the IKEA SCADIS container. So these containers are honestly pretty cheap. They come in packs of three and all you need to do is basically hang this metal part onto the pegboard. And afterwards, you fill this up with switches. Each of these can hold up to 90 switches, all right? It looks really small. I know it looks really small, but it can hold up to 90 switches. Once you have the top of the container lit, on all you have to do is slide it in and out whenever you want switches so if you want a certain switch if you have a bunch of switches all you have to do is slide it up grab a switch put it back in and not only that i feel like it adds a lot of color to the pegboard as a whole and if you want to decorate the pegboard more you can add some figurines a plant drop some like plants more plants at the back and if you are like a gamer like me, you like the RGB, just add the RGB strip at the back and the whole thing will pop. It's, it is, I feel, one of the most functional, most aesthetic, most accessible keyboard accessory to display your keyboards or store stuff. Our next item is also another storage container thing. You know, in keyboards, you just have to store a lot of things, you know. And this is one that I is really cheap. There are companies that also made it sort of their own product. I'm, I'm not gonna... Uh, I found these on Amazon actually. They were sold as storage units at the kitchen as well. So you basically store like condiments and stuff because they're airtight. So what can you do with these? The first thing that I kept in these were switches. You know, you can keep up to about 100 plus switches in one of these containers. You can hang it up really nice. You can stack it up, like how I have the four stack over here. But aside from switches, the one thing you can keep that you can't keep in the SCADIS containers is keycaps. You can actually keep a full set of keycaps in here. The whole spacebar fits. So I feel like this is a really good option if you are constantly changing your keycaps. Or at least if you change your keycaps and you don't really want to put it back into the original box because it's so much of a hassle just to open up that box. So, you store it in these containers and whenever you want to change it back, you already have what you need in these containers. So you just grab the container, pop it open, you know? Basically, it's just two latches onto that container. And because it's airtight, it's kind of... There we go. Yeah, and in terms of storing them, you can stack it up really nice. You can label it, but I don't really label it. But yeah, this really really nice last but not least this one is a little bit pricey all right i know this is a little bit pricey and this is something that i would consider the other part of the keyboard hobby that not everyone really gets into but if you're interested in this it does cost a lot as well this is the artisan keycap side of key keyboard stuff and the one i'm gonna showcase to you is called the dwarf factory mac whale something it looks pretty sick they didn't send this over to me i bought it all right so this is the artisan keycap as you can see it's fully made of resin the amount of detail the amount of work that they put into this is actually crazy that is one of the things that i really enjoy about artisan keycap seeing it in photos is like really cool and they might use renders and stuff but seeing it in real life seeing how they achieve all their details and how mind-blowing it is to achieve like all that small little details it's just crazy all right you're paying 50 dollars for literally their hard work aside from the keycap itself i actually bought the holder for this artisan keycap yes i know that i should put the artisan keycap on my keyboard but this one comes with a really cool holder all right because this whole artisan keycap is themed around like the mac kind of stuff they have some sort of a like crawler mac that you can put your keycap in just like that yeah I, I don't know man I, I really enjoy these small little things and I might be creating my own artisan keycap soon not resin probably like CNC metal artisans you if you have been staying all the way to the end of the video I've been teasing it for like two videos so yes we I probably will be releasing some artisan keycaps oh, shit. so yeah aside from that uh, there isn't really much to talk about, honestly. Uh, they, they, that was five keyboard accessories and we have come to the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is really more of a vlog style of video and 
I'm just trying to get into the the whole vibe into it before I go to Japan to vlog about all the different places outside with the public. You know, that's a little bit scary, but I hope you guys will continue to watch. The next video will probably still be a vlog style before I go to Japan. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like, subscribe if you like tech, keyboard content, and comment your thoughts on the whole video down below. You know, let me know what I can improve on. Like, Maybe if I speak too fast, I speak too slow. And aside from that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually stocking up videos for the Japan trip so that I can still post weekly. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.